We're asking people to be on the lookout for a man who robbed a store. And I think, yeah, I think we do, we do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. He's got, uh, he's got a nose and some hair. He was, uh, he was wearing a hat at the time of this particular particular crime. So I was thinking to myself, what can I do to cope with Haikyuu ending this week? Start a show that never ends. Hello everybody and welcome back to our island. Today we are opening up our island to the Straw Hat Pirates. I had always known that One Piece was big, but I did not know how big One Piece was until I went to Japan. I mean, on first impression, an anime that's about pirates just sounds dumb Ooh. and that's coming from the girl who watched rose and maiden before even taking a second look at one piece <laughs> i think we can all agree that the idea of pirates is a turnoff there's been so many movie portrayals of pirates and i personally never really liked any of the tropes but one piece is proof that you should nope. never judge an anime based off the key visuals and i especially want to stress key visuals with this one because not only is the show old but the style is not my favorite. You could tell me that Oda traced ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics and I would believe you. Pre-skip Robin is literally Cleopatra. Going forward, I think it's important to let you know where I am in the show. I am currently working on the Alabasta Saga. And I'll leave where I am currently as of upload up on the screen somewhere. Yeah, when I say I'm a noob, I'm still very much that. Which is weird to say because I'm still 100 episodes in. It's like playing a American football all your life and then finally get into the pro league and feeling like a noob because you just got to the pro league. Yep, I just called One Piece the pro league of anime. What are you going to do about it? So even with these somewhat distracting aspects, what did I like about One Piece? I chalk it up to the characters and their dynamics. Currently, the members of the Straw Hats are Luffy, Duh. Zoro, Usapa, Duop, yeah, yeah, Nami, Sanji, and now Chopper. Every one of the characters not only comes from a different island or crew, but they look and sound and behave like they come from different cultures. I might feel this way because it's still all fresh in my mind, but Nami still rips the boys apart and Zoro still butts heads with everybody. Seeing them all together is weird, but it's still my favorite part of the show. I would be perfectly okay with a slice of life version of One Piece. And there's other great parts of the show, like the fights. All the fights are good, but personally there's only been one to stand out that's been really special to me, and that's Arlong versus the Straw Hats. This one rocked me emotionally. I had this moment when Sanji was in the water and I took a glass of water and took a drink, and I choked purely because of voyeurism. <laughs> That's right folks, my brain thought I was drowning when I was perfectly dry. And I was getting ready for bed, I was perfectly dry, sitting in my bed, thinking I was drowning. 300 years ago, witches in Salem used to be executed for this kind of black magic. Also, I haven't seen the main big fight of the Alabasta Saga, but I can easily see that tapping Arlong. And the stakes were so high for Nami. And it was also Sanji's first fight. Whenever I first saw Sanji, I was like, Stay in him. Please. Also, this arc not only made Nami one of the main girls, but best girl. Woo! The humor is really well balanced as well. I've mentioned this before, but I prefer dark tones to light tones. But when pulled off correctly, light tones can be more charming than cheesy. I will say though, once Luffy's airheadedness starts to pull back a little bit, he's going to quickly become my favorite character. If Luffy's your favorite character, feel free to let me know why down below. I have a preference for big brain and sad boys, and Luffy is neither. So feel free to let me know whenever that development hits, if it even does hit. I really like to have a goal in mind when going into a show, specifically one like this. One that doesn't end. I think as an anime watcher, the goal is to always watch something until it ends. And One Piece doesn't have that. But as someone who has recently jumped into One Piece and is working through it very slowly, I do have a few tips for those who are thinking about watching. First tip is that now is the best time to watch. With summer break going on and several countries still being on lockdown, what other better time is there than now? 
Second tip is to make sure you're following a filler list. This helped me out a whole lot. I believe the first two sagas had about 20 episodes worth of filler, which does cut back on a whole lot of time. And the third and final tip is that there's always the option to watch the movies instead of seasons. I looked into this a little bit, but not a whole lot. If your goal is just to catch up, this is definitely a huge option for you. And I'm pretty sure there'll be other tips left down below by other people who are also watching One Piece. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I thought up of a noob's perspective. As someone who is slightly obsessive over a few select shows, I get so happy when I can hear new and fresh perspectives of a show I hold dearly. So I thought, hey, why not just binge these huge shonen shows that everyone's already into and then let you know what I thought. I've been into massive shows like Naruto and Fate, but I really want to get into the nitty gritty of shows with cult-like followings. This was meant to be a short review, but if you have any tips or opinions, please leave them down below. I'll have my links down below in the description. Feel free to follow me wherever you would like, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!